Welcome back to another predestined, predestined kingdom ministries international videos. I am Kenethia J. And so this is another word the Lord wanted me to come on here. This word is for a bishop, a pastor, a leader of some sort over a sanctuary. Okay. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> the Heavenly Father, I pray say what you want me to say that you are a watchman over my mouth, just like you said in the book of Psalm um, 140 something. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> I pray my flesh decrease, your Holy Spirit increase. Hallelujah. And let the person you want to receive this word take heed to what you're saying. So that they can avoid the storm you are trying to send their way because of their disobedience. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. I will be reading from Acts 13 verse 22. Acts 13 verse 22. And when he had removed him. He raised up for them David as king, to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, who will do all my will. Praise God. The Lord is showing me <laughs> this bishop, this leader, is trying to tell God how to raise his children. God says, don't tell me what to do and how to raise my daughter. That's all I keep hearing God say. Don't tell me what to do and how to raise my daughter. That's all the father keeps saying. So you are a high leader, hallelujah. And God has already spoken concerning one of your sheep. Hallelujah, Holy Spirit. But you are refusing the word of the Lord because of your flesh and because of other selfish reasons, says the Lord. God is, God is about to, hallelujah, God is doing a divine intervention. Okay? The Lord says you are to do His will. Ah, Shadaya Basata. The Lord says you are to do His will. If you don't like the way God is moving in this person's life, that's just the that's just what God is doing. Hallelujah. Whether it's a male, a female, like if God says yes, no man can say no. Whether you are a shepherd and you have sheep, when God says it's time for that sheep to get blessed. You as the shepherd cannot go against God and tell God, no, you can't break press shot. You can't break protocol. You can't do what you want to do in his life. You can't do that for her. God says he will smite you. Oh, shut up. God is looking for a, a servant, a man after his own heart who will do his will. Okay, the Lord is not, he is not playing games with you. He don't care. Hey, shout out. He said, I don't care how long you've been in ministry serving me. God says, I will do my will and you will not come in between it. Says the Lord God, Jesus Christ almighty. Hallelujah. God has spoken. We are to do his will, his way on his time. We are not to try to stop the plans of God because of our fleshly desires, says the Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. God just keeps saying smite. He just keeps saying, I will come down there and smite them. God says, can't no devil, no human spirit stop me from blessing you. Hallelujah. When God wants to bless his child, he wants to bless that person. Okay, 
God has made this. God said a broken heart is a sacrifice. If this if he keep breaking this person's heart, they sacrificing to him. If they didn't give up that drink and God still want to bless them. God said, I'm going to bless them. God said, if she ain't put that weed down yet, it don't matter because I'm ready to bless my child. God said, can't no human spirit stop him from blessing his child. If he want to break protocol, if it's shut up, that says the Lord Jesus Christ Almighty. Hallelujah, Lord. The Lord is saying you will not stop his plans. You will not get in the way of what he is doing. God is doing a divine intervention on every bishop, every pastor, every servant leader, all of those who opposed him from blessing his child when he said it was time because their flesh said no or because they just didn't listen to the Holy Spirit. But God says, even when a thing doesn't look like it, if he speaks, he speaks. You are his sheep. You are supposed to know his voice. Hallelujah, Lord. This video is not for everybody. I pray I have a blessed day. Shalom.